I know I ain't pretty, but that's not why my man left. That leaving left me alone and lonely and hard to sleep. That's how I meet Malcolm the Cockroach. First time we meet, I chase him all over the place and try to squash his long-legged black ass. <laughs> but Malcolm, he was cool. Night after night, Malcolm remains cool. After a while, he gets like I miss Malcolm if he don't show. And when he does, I don't try too hard to hurt him. And he don't try too hard to run. It wasn't long before we stopped fighting and started talking and drinking and partying. Malcolm, he dig Fuente. Malcolm became my friend. And how you think I felt the night he come by all packed, leaving to go downtown? Ain't it been good together, says I? Yeah, woman, says Malcolm, but hell, I can't do nothing for you. It's always cold here, and the few scraps to eat at your table ain't as good as what I find in the garbage downtown. And they ain't the fear of the whole goddamn building falling down on our heads. Or junkies crushing me underfoot. If I can't do nothing for myself here, what can I do for you? Goodbye. Funny thing about Malcolm. He kind of sounded just like my old man Leroy sounded the time he left Harlem. Hell, there I was drinking and shivering alone again. When this here black rat comes hustling across the floor and ups right to me and says that he heard Malcolm was gone. And winked and kind of grinned big yellow. And shot him right between the eyes. I don't want to be hurt no more. You know what I mean.